Count 31, welcome to examples. We're going to do three and four together. We're going to simplify these four logarithmic expressions or these four logarithmic terms into a single logarithm. So I'm going to take this expression and I'm going to have log of some weird argument at the end. Well, maybe not weird, but just a single logarithm. So with that, I'm going to attack these one at a time. And then I just want to give you an overview of how you could do this all at once. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at my first two terms. When you have log base 3, oh, excuse me, common log, right, log of 3 minus log of 4, when you have a difference in logarithms, all right, we're going to go this way. When I have a difference of logarithms, I can collapse them into a single logarithm where that argument is a quotient. So I'm going to use the quotient property in the reverse order. We've been expanding. Now we're going to simplify. So I will rewrite this as log of 3 over 4. And I will keep this as my plus log 5 and minus log 6. So just in going from step 1 to step 2, I had 4 logarithms, and now I'm at 3 logarithms. i got to keep going because I want a single logarithm. So let me combine these two now. All right, and now take note that I am adding two logarithms together. So when you add two logarithms together, you can simplify that using the product property when you combine them as one logarithm and your argument is a product. So let's go ahead and say that this is now equal to log of 3 fourths times 5. All right, and don't forget your log 6 here. Okay, so I'm getting better. Now, 3 fourths times 5, that's 15 fourths. So let me go ahead and just simplify that some more. So I have log of 15 fourths minus log of 6. So again, I had four logarithms. I simplified it to three logarithms. I'm down to two logarithms, but I need that single logarithm. Well, we're back to dealing with a quotient, right? I have two logarithms that are being subtracted, so I will use that as a quotient. So this becomes log of 15 fourths divided by 6. And we know what that turns into, right? So I can say this is log of 15 fourths times 1 over 6, because dividing by 6 is like multiplying by its reciprocal. This becomes log of 15 over 24. They have a 3 in common. So I can simplify that to log of 5 eighths. All right, so there's my end answer. And this was me going one step at a time. But once you get more comfortable with these, you can actually kind of cut to the chase a little bit. And here's what I mean, all right? So I'm just gonna put, this is like the cut to the chase version. Basically how these logs work is anything that has a positive coefficient in front of it, like log three and log five, those will be in the numerator. And anything with a negative coefficient, like minus log four and minus log six, those will be in the denominator. So I know I will ultimately have log of three times five in the numerator and four times six in the denominator. And then it's a matter of simplifying things. So I could see right here that I could divide out the 3 and get a 2 on the denominator and a 1 up on the numerator. So this would be log, oops, let me write that a little lower. This would be log of, all right, 1 times 5 is 5, 4 times 2 is 8. And you can see that that's just a little bit faster, right? That's why I say cut to the chase. Boom. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Bye.